Welcome to the Synego Virtual Reality Experience. The Synego device delivers right the synergistic trimodality of local, non-ionizing radio frequency, RF, a chemotherapy installation and tissue hypothermia all-in-one powerful combination for treating intermediate and high-risk non-muscle invasive bladder cancer. During this journey, you may turn your head in any direction. Our patient is lying beside the Synego device and a designated catheter is inserted into the urinary bladder. The patient does not need anesthesia and shall resume normal daily activities after this treatment, lasting approximately one hour. Let's take a closer look. We are now traveling in the urethra with trillions of drug molecules which are constantly recirculated into the bladder. To the left, another lumen carries unabsorbed molecules back to the device to cool. That is to avoid overheating and degradation of the drug to keep the urethra safe and the patient comfortable. You may also notice five precise thermometers, thermocouples, placed in the catheter. These threads are not much wider than one single strand of hair. Ejected from the catheter into the bladder cavity, you may now examine the catheter. You may see the anchoring balloon to the left and the antenna emitting radio frequency situated in the center of the catheter. Gone unfelt, three thermocouples are gently deployed onto the bladder walls in predefined locations. They enable monitoring and adjusting of settings in real time. You might have noticed two more thermocouples in the catheter. Those monitor the urethral temperatures. RF generates Foucault currents, which electrically charge, mobilize, and activate the drug molecules. Let's take a closer look at the tumor. Selective effects of RF on cancer cells include phenotypical changes, the formation of micropores on their membranes, and the loss of adhesion between malignant cells, an influential parameter of tumor growth. The drug can now easily penetrate into and in between these cells, reaching deeper, hidden locations. Studies reveal that with RF, even the more resistant cancer cells become susceptible to chemotherapy, whereas the effects of RF are negligible on healthy cells. Tissue heating, hypothermia, is a welcomed byproduct of RF. It causes changes in blood perfusion and ruptures in blood supply to malignant cells, as well as unfolding and denaturing of proteins, causing irreparable damages to the DNA selectively in cancer cells. Temperatures of approximately 42 degrees centigrade, 107 Fahrenheit, are monitored and maintained throughout the treatment. We have entered a cancerous cell through one of the many micropores it created and now approaching the nucleus. Already activated by the RF, chemotherapy molecules now bond with the DNA, inhibiting cell replication, mitosis, causing the cells to undergo planned death, apoptosis, or RF-induced autophagy. The tumor is destroyed.